Hey guys, Jared Wesson here from Focus Group Florida Keller Williams Realty in Lakeland and Polk County, Central Florida. It's Tuesday, ending this real estate roundup. So let's have a look and see what's uh, see what's going on. So the big news of the past seven days locally was that we had uh, 510 new pending contracts throughout the county. And that's the most it's been since we've been recording these since, um, let's see, according to my graph. So that was October 5th, 2020. So how many months that is, 17 months or so. It's the highest sales number in the county over that whole period. And you'll see that in the graph once we post it. So that was the big, uh, the headline of the week is the uh, overall sales were very high, um, which is fantastic. Which is great. Uh, however, the um, the replaced uh, listings for the county, you can imagine, are the inverse. So we had under 50% of those homes that went pending were replaced by new listings. So the inventory continues to shrink. So there's that. So let's go and see what happened over the last seven days. My screen's here with all my stats. That's why I'm over here. So the average home in Lakeland, three bedroom, two bath, uh, 1895 square feet with the list price per square foot of 175.21 and the sold price per square foot of 176.61 then we have an average list price of 329.886 total and an average closed price of 333.345 with an average sold price compared to list price of 101 percent and then average days on the market was 15. so just the last two listings that we did that are coming up to closing uh, we had 37 offers between the two houses. So 15 for one, 22 for the other. The first house sold for 25,000 more than the list price. The second house, 40,000 more than the list price. That's just what's going on. If you want the house and it's clean, it's moving ready, there's no projects, go for it. Uh, you can get it. Uh, they're there. There's competition. And thankfully, um, We've been encouraging our sellers uh, to sell to families who need these homes. Um, there's some great investors out there and some homes, uh, some of my sellers have ended up selling to investors and went fine. Um, but when they can, they do try to sell to the families because they know how uh, challenging it can be to find somewhere, especially if you've sold somewhere and need somewhere to go to. Um, let's go down real quick on the zip codes as far as the, um, the highs and lows for the replenishment of pendings and listings. So we had 3305. The number looks horrible, but they just had low numbers anyway. So it showed that there was three times as many listings as pendings, which never hurts, but it means it's 300%. So the graph looks a little weird, but that's that one particular thing. Now the flip side, 33812, zero listings. Ugh, that's tough. So if you know anybody in 33812, <clears throat> definitely uh, uh, let them know about the home swap program. It's amazing. Let you buy first and then sell your house. Amazing, fantastic, great. You have up to six months to sell your house once you've moved. All the heartache of all of that business is, is behind you. So it's fantastic. All right. So we talked about 812, 815. Uh, 33811 was rather low in the 30s. And then um, 33803 had a good week. We had just um, a few more listings uh, than went pending. Again, that's good. That replenishes the inventory in those areas. Um, so I mentioned for Polk County, we're under 50%. It was just under 47% actually of the new pendings were replaced by listings. And in Polk, uh, sorry, in Lakeland, a little bit better. Uh, just over 61% of the new pending had new listings. Still not equilibrium, but 60 is better than 47, that's for sure. All right, let's go down to our average closed price uh, compared to a year ago. And you'll see that graph, it just continues to go up. And until this inventory uh, flattens out a little bit, it's going to be like that. So we're at 33, 335, sorry, 333, 345. That's a lot of threes. 34.77% um, equity increase from one year ago this week. That's where we're at. So it's a great time. Uh, if you have some equity to do something with it. Days on the market, it's been relatively steady in the teens. We're at 15 this week, so nothing nothing crazy there to report. We already talked about the highest sales. Uh, so we had 510 for the county in the seven-week period that we that we measure. Um, 
The cancels withdrawn expires are still low. Uh, six cancels, two withdrawn, one expired. So just very, very low numbers there. Um, our housing supply, we have an 86% shortage. Uh, that's a big number. So that means we have 14% of what we need. So for every 14 homes for sale, there's 100 buyers. That is a lot. So um, had a good conversation with the client today. The way that we do our marketing, he hadn't had any offers yet. And so I talked about what we do with our, our, our awesome indoor photography and our 3D photography and our virtual tour and our drone and all this stuff so people can experience the house virtually before showing up and making their offer. So when they come, it's literally just a confirmation of what they've already seen. They've already walked through the house. They love it. If they don't, don't come. There's plenty of people who will. Um, we're doing great on our give back goal. So our give back goal for the year is $60,000 and we are at 15,588 so far through March 29th. So thank you to all of our clients who, um, we are able to help. And in so doing, we are able to pass on those blessings to other people. All right. So remember in the, um, description below, I've got a few things here. Let me bring over so I'm not too much to the side here. So we've got our, um, uh, let's see, uh, quick value report we have. Um, and that's the one where you can go on and put your address and it just gives you a snapshot of houses around you that have sold. And what I love about this particular report, and not only just shows the values, it has all the pictures from inside the house. So you can really compare it to what else is going on and say, ah, that one was really ugly on the inside, or wow, that one's really great. Which I think is great. We already talked about the home swap program. We have cash offers. If you if you just want to not deal with any of that, we do have people who can give cash offers to you and with flexible closing dates. I've got some links down there of uh, uh, homes that have dropped in the last price in the last seven uh, seven days. Um, if you'd like a hyper local real estate report on a monthly basis, just contact us and say, I want my uh, monthly neighborhood uh, report. It's really easy and it just tells you what's going on in your specific neighborhood, sales, time on the market, average price, things like that. It's very helpful. Um, if you prefer to get things by a text message, if you text update, update 5251660, update 51660. Uh, you can actually get uh, a link each week that just goes to our video, so you can just watch it on your phone on the go. Um, and that's it. Oh, so we've got uh, First Friday this week, which I'm really excited about. So, um, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot the theme. But anyway, that's this coming week, 6 to 9. Come on downtown. Everything's shut off um, as far as the road, so you can walk around and do stuff. All the eateries downtown, the place you can eat and drink are absolutely fantastic. Now on the calendar it says that they're also doing live music in the park, so we'll see. I mean, I'm just pulling that up really quick for us. Um, Harrison School of Arts, the 210 combo, is doing it at first Friday, so that should be really cool. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. We will see you Friday. Oh, I'm sorry. I will put a link in in the comments. Don't forget Thursday the 31st from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. is the Focus Callathon. So one day only, you call in. We've got a 50-inch TV you can win. We have a home sound system you can win. We've got four box tickets to the um, uh, to the, the Florida Tropics. Um, so super fun. Uh, Donna's um, doing it. Donna Kay, our, our buyer's rep, uh, she's doing that on Thursday. So please call in. Get your name on the list, and we're going to be drawing it uh, just after 5 on Thursday. So good luck with that. All right, guys, have a super day, and I will talk to you soon. Jared signing off. Bye-bye.